everyone, so today I'll be doing this black smoky eye with the pop of mint in the inner corner. Now, like, I know, I know I've done mint in my last video, but for some reason I'm obsessed with mint lately, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I love how this look turned out with the nude lip and all that, so if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep Okay, so we're starting off with our eyeshadow base, and I'll just be putting that all over my eyes. This is just the Essence one, and I'll be setting it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. So there'll be no creasing in our eyeshadow. And now we'll be applying some tape onto our eye to create that crisp line that we all look for. So you can be as messy as you want with your eyeshadow. And I'll be going in with that orange shade from the Shanix Soul Palette and blending that into my crease as a transition shade. And I'm just using an essence brush with this. And I'll be highlighting with the bone shade from the palette. Um, we don't want a shimmery highlight because that would just be too much with the look we're going for. Now I'll be using that red brick shade now and just blending that further into the crease to create some depth into the crease so we won't look like we have a pure black eye. Some of you might think that but anyway, get over it. Now I'll be taking a shader brush and blending that further into the crease for further pigmentation because you know like we can't have non-pigmentated. Okay and we're going in with the black. Um, liner from NYX and just using that as a base for the eyeshadow that we will be applying to create that black smoky eye and still still putting on eyeliner still putting on eyeliner yep yep and tight lining now we're going in with that um, like dark shade from the Shanix Soul palette and just packing that all over the eyes to set that um, cream base that we just put on the eyeliner and I'm going in with my finger just to pack on more pigmentation because the brush just wasn't working for me. God, Kira, hurry on, hurry on. And then we're going back in with that red brick shade because I felt like I lost the intensity of the red brick eyeshadow so I just put more on. And now we'll be going in with that pop of colour, the mint. Oh my god lads, I love mint like seriously and I'm just packing that I put on a bit of um, white eyeliner before I done that because like I felt like there wasn't enough pigmentation in the mint eyeshadow. So I'm just packing that on. And now I'm just putting on the Wet n Wild Mega Linked Mascara. And just putting preparing my eyelashes for falsies and taking off the tape. We have that crisp line there now. And I just put on lashes off camera and I'm using Nivea Pull Shave Balm and just priming my face with that and my scarring is absolutely unreal. I literally need to get it sorted out. Why do I have to have spots? Like seriously. Um, We're going to use foundation but we're go first going in with concealer and I'm just getting rid of that ugly scarring because it is horrific and I'm just going to blend that all on my face. Yep, keep going Kara, keep going, keep going. Now we're on to foundation. And I'll be dotting that all over my face and down my neck because I'm so pale that my foundation doesn't match even though it's probably the palest shade you could possibly guess. First of all problems like first of all problems. Do I really take that long to put on foundation? Like all I'm doing is patting it on. And I'm blending, in, uh, I'm blending it in with my Real Techniques complexion sponge all over my face. Now I'll be going in with the NYX HD Concealer. This is probably about the lightest shade you get. I'd say it's 02 Fair. And I'm like um, neatening up that line of our eyeshadow even more. And highlighting my under eyes and concealing and all that jazz. Just to brighten me up a bit because dull guys, dull. And I'll be using the other end of the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and just blending it in. Now I lost a bit of the intensity of the mint eyeshadow so I'll have to pack that on again later but you'll see it when I do it anyway. And I'll be setting my under eyes with the Rimmel Translucent Powder and a small little powder brush and just setting that concealer. And now I'll be going in with the Natural Collection Loose Powder and just patting that all over my face just to set my foundation and I'll be doing this with a kabuki brush. I finally learned how to say it. Yes I. Now I'm just going doing the lower lash line and I'll be going in with the same eyeliner and just running that into my waterline. This looks absolutely disgusting Kira why do you even record that? Yuck. Sorry guys. Now I'll be going back in with that mint eyeshadow and just packing that onto my eyes. 
Oh, I just love Mint Lake. Doesn't it look so cool? Like it's just, it's just really bright. Like I'll stop doing mint from now on, guys. Sorry. Now I'll be going back in with a mixture of that orange and that red brick shade and from the Chanex O palette and I'll be just running that under my lower lash line to really smoke it out and make her eyes pop and we'll look, be looking sab. So now I'll be going back in with that dark shade and a small um, kind of shader brush and I'll be blending that just under the liner just um, to give an even further smoky look. So yeah. And now we're back onto mascara and I'm just using the same mascara as earlier on and just putting that on the lower lashes. They're after getting really long, aren't they? I'm absolutely jelly them. Okay, we're on to bronzing. So I'm taking the Sunkissed Giants bronzer and just bronzing my face with this. I love bronzing because then I don't look like a pure ghost like I always do. It just brings so much colour to your face. And just putting a bit on my nose as well just to balance out the colour. And I'll be going in with a big fan brush and just contouring with the darker shade from that bronzer. And this looks really harsh, but we're going to blend it out in the minute and it'll work out fine. Now I want a more sculpted look to my contour, so I'm going back in with that translucent powder and just cutting my contour with that and a little kind of sponge I got in my powder. Now I'm going in with the Rocket Shore blush and just putting some colour into those cheeks. Not too much though, because we don't be, want to be looking like a clown. So now we're on to highlighting, yes. And we're, I'm going in with Catrice um, Highlighter in 010 Light Infusion. This is absolutely the bomb diggity, I swear to God, it's absolutely fab. So if you're watching this, go out and get it like right now, just pause the video. Actually, no, finish the video and then go out and get it, because it's absolutely good. I'm putting that on my cubes bow, my nose and on the temples. So now I'm going in with the L'Oreal lip liner in 668 Rose Vintage and just kind of overlining a small bit and just preparing to put on my lipstick. We're going for a new lip today. So now I'll be going in with the MAC lipstick in Pure Zen and I'll just be playing that all over my lips. And then I'll be going with the Essence XXL Shine Gloss and just packing that all over my lips. us to the end of this look i hope you enjoyed watching me recreate it um comment for any um requests you want me to film and thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video